What's going on, Jayon? Congrats. Um, I know you'd been saying that it'd be big for you to be able to come back. So I guess how did how did the process kind of go for you? And uh, sorry about that. And ultimately lead to you landing back here in Tennessee. Um, it was a it was a it was a good process. Um, had uh, multiple offers and uh, decided to come back um, to come back home to Tennessee and and uh, try to try to come back here for a Super Bowl for another year. And um, I'm excited to come back uh, with this coaching staff and uh, um, and with the guys and and we added some new pieces and I'm excited to get back there on the field and uh, and just play. I know this happens every year with with the turnover, but there are going to be obviously some different pieces for you guys defensively. How can you how can you kind of take what happened last year with the struggles on defense and, and try to build on it with this new group? Um, you know, when new year got, uh, comes, new uh, you know opportunities, and we got a lot of new guys. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of new faces, but but uh, some old faces as well. Um, and we're just uh, whenever we get back to it. Um, just, just you know, fill each other out, learn his defense together uh, under Shane and uh, Coach Vrabel, and um, you know, try to go out there and be the best defense that uh, we can be in the in the league. John Lennon. Hey, John. Uh, welcome back. Uh, um, yeah, I guess you mentioned there were other offers there as well. Um, I guess there was a thought. Everybody tries to predict, you know, what kind of contracts are going on. There was a thought that uh, you know your value might be more than than what you wound up getting. Did you find that to be the case with some of the offers? And you know, did you did you take any less to, because you wanted to come back with the Titans? Um, I, I love the Titans, and I love uh, that I got the opportunity to come back. Uh, but you know, with the with the salary cap being being down, I, I, I do know my value, and with the salary cap being down. Um, uh, I see a lot of guys out there took took one year deals, knowing that uh, the TV money is uh, about to get renewed, and there's going to be uh, better opportunities for for our free agency this coming for the upcoming year. And um, so, you know, uh, but right now uh, I'm happy with what I'm what what I got with Tennessee, and uh, when the opportunity comes for for the big bucks, uh, I will definitely be there. And and the other one, uh, yeah, some of the new guys uh, you mentioned earlier. What are your thoughts on on guys like uh, you know Bud Dupree and uh, Danico Autry and and uh, old Jack Rabbit there? Uh, do you do you have much of a idea of what you expect them to bring? Oh, uh, we got we got playmakers. Um, with uh, Bud, been been watching him at the at the Steelers. He's nothing but a playmaker. Uh, getting getting sacks, uh, strip sacks, all that good stuff, and. Uh, and uh, with our boy on a D line, uh, he makes he makes plays, uh, stopping screens, getting getting home to the quarterback. Really good pass rusher, big and strong. And uh, with the Jackrabbit, uh, he's been making plays his, his whole career, and and uh, glad to have a, a, a savvy corner like that uh, for us to make plays and uh, you know help create some turnovers on this defense. Thank you, Teresa. Jan, that said, with these additions, how quickly can this defense, uh, you know, get back to the standards that we've seen you, know, you all play at? Um, as fast as we as we uh, as we can, um, just going back in there and uh, you know starting from the basics and getting our techniques and fundamentals down, and and eventually uh, getting getting that chemistry on the on the practice field to to communicate and, and to just get at, to know how each one of us plays and, and just plays off of our strengths and, and get and get to the quarterback and getting the balls in our hands. So uh, I'm looking forward to what this defense is gonna, gonna do this year and, and I'm excited for it. David Beauclair. Jayon, you were well on your way to your best statistical season when you got hurt last year. How frustrating was that to, to have the year cut short? And what does that do for your offseason mindset here? Uh, I feel like uh, each and every year since I got into the league, uh, I've been improving every year. And um, uh, a really good season got cut short uh, due to injury. But um, it was, it's still a lot lot more for me to to gain out there as a, as a player. And, and I'm excited to reach new heights. Uh, for this upcoming year, and and I know I will, and and I'm excited to do it on this defense with with this team uh, that that believes in me, and 
and the GM and the head coach and the coaching staff that believes in me and, and, and players as well. So I'm excited to just go out there with the guys and, and have fun winning, winning the games and, and getting another division and hopefully getting a ring at the end of the, of the year. Luke? How is the elbow, Jay, on? And have you been cleared to resume full activities? Yeah, yeah. Elbow's been cleared. Um, and so the, when come come uh, game one, I'll, I'll be out there on the field uh, ready to go. And I'm just looking forward to getting back to, to playing with the guys. What was your reaction to uh, the announcement of Shane being promoted to defensive coordinator? Um, uh, static. He's a, he's a really good guy, really, really smart coach. And uh, – he knows what it takes to win, and 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 so does Coach Vrabel and, and the rest of the guys on our staff. And it's just it's just uh, you know, it's, it's an exciting time. So I'm, I'm happy for him, and um, I'm looking forward to the play calling and and uh, you know just getting after getting after with the guys. And uh, and I'm very happy for Shane. He's he's a very smart coach, and and uh, it's well deserved. Iran. Yeah, Jay, on a lot of talk last season about communication and the lack thereof, you know, as the guy with the green dot helmet, is that something you, you take personally? And, and what are some things you could do to, to make that better this upcoming season? Oh, I uh, definitely got to take that personal and uh, it will be fixed and, and <laughs> guarantee you that. And uh, I'm just looking excited uh, going out there, uh, you know, having the green dot again and, and just getting guys lined up right, and so we're all on the same, make sure we're all on the same page. It's a it's a team effort, and and uh, that definitely will be fixed. Couple follow ups, Buck. Yeah, Jayon, there were some conflicting reports about about your deal. Is is it a one year contract or a three year contract? Uh, it may look like a three year contract, but it's a it's a one year uh, contract. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you. Last question, David Beauclair. And what did how well did you think David Long played after after you got knocked out last year? And and do you feel like you almost have to win your job back in a way from him? Uh David did a outstanding job. I was I was so happy watching him play, making them big plays and uh hearing the announcers talking about him and Rashawn. I was very happy for him. And uh as for competition, uh we all we all push each other throughout throughout the weeks and, and camps and throughout the whole season to push each other to get better. So uh as as for a competition we we compete with ourselves every day to uh in the film room and in the meeting room and and practice to to help all of us uh you know reach our reach our 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 uh, new heights i would say and and to just you know better each other's techniques and just we're always trying to feed each other to make more plays so i'm i'm excited to go out there and uh you know compete with the guys and and help each other get better <laughs>